Hi, my name is Thomas Hansen. I'm a development consultant at the Resource Center for Integration in the city of Bailin, Denmark. Uh, and I'm also the project manager of the Danish Simulator project, which we began in collaboration with Alelo back in October of 2010. Uh, the Danish Simulator is an online language and culture learning platform for learning Danish, which we built partly based on our own existing technology, but mainly and primarily based on the capabilities of the social sim technology developed by Alelo. Uh, the result of the cooperation is the interactive learning platform, which we have named the Hunt for Herald. Um, because the overall objective of the game is to find the old Danish king, King Harald Bluetooth. Uh, and in our perhaps not completely unbiased opinion, it is probably the single most revolutionizing language learning platform ever developed for, for Danish. Um, development of the platform uh, was funded by the Foundation for Welfare Technology, uh, which is under the Ministry of Finance in Denmark, with the explicit purpose of creating a teaching tool which could take over a percentage of the regular teacher-based classes at the language centers uh, in Denmark where uh, language classes take place. On average, about 45,000 people a year uh, take classes and cost the Danish government in the area of $150 million, uh, primarily because the first, year, first three years of education are free. Um, Noteworthy is also the fact that over the past five years, the number of learners has increased by almost 13,000. The language education system in Denmark is divided into three tracks. Uh, track one is for illiterates and learners with almost no scholastic background. Uh, track two is for learners with some educational background. And track three is for learners with medium level or a higher education. It could be PhD students, for instance. Uh, placement into a certain track is based on a visitation conversation uh, which takes place at the language institution where the learner has to attend classes. Uh, each track is then further divided into modules, six all in all, where the learner has to pass a test to advance from one module to the next. We've now tested the platform over a period of two times three months uh, where we primarily targeted uh, track three, modules one and two as the relatively short trial period dictated that we needed learners that spoke English and had reasonable computer skills. We also tested track two, modules one and two, mainly to see how they would fare. The main problem here being that their potential lack of English, uh, which was the instructional language, and perhaps also a lack of computer experience. Uh, in essence, we substituted 20% of the normal teacher-based classes on track three with the platform and 10% of track two classes. We had the actual trials in class to make sure that the learners were actually there and used the platform. The teachers were also present, but they couldn't interfere. Uh, it did, however, turn, turn out, uh, it did, however, seem actually that when we guided, when, when guided more by a teacher, uh, the track two learners did very well and also stated that they enjoyed uh, using the platform or working with it. It should be noted that some of the DU2 classes that we employed in the test had to end their participation. Uh, simply because of the language and IT barrier, which was too much for them. The final evaluation, which was done by the Danish IT Center for Education and Research, which is an agency under the Ministry for Children and Education, uh, corroborates our initial assumption that we can save up to 20% of in-class teaching hours while maintaining an unchanged passing rate and also creating an enjoyable learning experience. Uh, the evaluation showed that there was no significant change in learner passing rate and based on a questionnaire, distributed to both teachers and learners, the platform was liked uh, based on a general rating of 4.2 out of 5. I also have to say that in, in addition to the positive outcome of the project, uh, collaborating with Alelo, both in terms of process and product, has for me personally probably been the most enjoyable work experience ever. Uh, just the enthusiasm, positivity and professionalism surrounding the platform construction, be it the nine hours of time difference away in LA or uh, simply within the confines of our own office space has just been uh, tremendous. Um, be it the content development team, the 3D artists or the programmers, uh, it has just been pervasive and ever-present. So let's do another one.